What's up, everyone, and happy Thursday. I hope everyone is having a great day, a beautiful day, and, of course, a blessed day as always. Listen, it's so hot out that door. But listen, I got a hot on fire message <laughs> that I want to give you guys for today. Listen, I just first and foremost want to say that it is your character. It's your character. God says that these next places that he is about to take you to, these rooms that you are about to be a part of, the people that you are about to be connected to, it's because of your character. Your character is that thing that describes, that makes you who you are and what type of person that you become, it's your character that you developed while you were in the quiet time with me, while you were in your isolation season, while you were enduring the things that were you are, were enduring, it's your character. It's who you are right now is the reason why God is taking you where he is taking you. See, the thing about character is that it's something that's going to allow you to make an everlasting impact in life, in whatever area that God places you in, industry, just whatever that thing is that you bring to the world. It's going to be your character of it all that's going to last you for a lifetime because it's your character that people really get drawn to. That thing that people can say Oh, they were so, such a down-to-earth person. Their heart was so big. They would give their shirt off their back. They would give their last. They would just help anybody that they could. They were the type of person who did whatever they can. When they stepped into a room, people automatically noticed them. It's because of your character. So what is your character like? Because it's your character that's going to carry you far in life. And if you choose to have a bad character, it's going to show up on the outside of you because your character is what's on the inside of you. So if you have any type of negativity, if you choose to have a, a nasty attitude, just feel like you say whatever comes to your mind. You let whatever you feel come out your mouth, regardless of who it hurts. No matter how much, you know, the words may be traumatizing or just hurtful to a person, you don't think. So you just say whatever. That's a part of your character. If you want to be the type of person who continues to judge people, who continues to talk gossip about people instead of helping people that's a part of your character if you feel like you're going to be a type of person who's going to continue to be that negative person right and feel like people are going to have to accept you for who you are then you are not going to be able to have things or just relate to people or even be in certain places. It's going to be because of your character. People are going to say, I'm not willing to work with a person who chooses to act like that or who just overall is a person who is like that. So you got to walk around every day either working and developing your character or embracing your character and put it in out there and understanding that it's going to be what's on the inside of me that people are going to continue to talk about. Because my character holds so much weight. That's why God is taking you where he is taking you because your character holds so much weight and it also holds so much light into who God is and who God created you to be. Therefore, he shines in you and he shines through you onto others and onto and into the rooms that you are about to be a part of. So listen, 
It is your character. It's not your money. It's not the material things. It's your character. And what you bring to people's lives when you come in contact with everybody who you come in contact with. You're going to be the type of person because of your character that people are going to forever be grateful for. The type of person that people are going to want to forever be around. The type of person that people are going to never forget. So just remember, it's your character. I hope that this message has resonated. I hope that it has helped touch and inspire anyone who it has reached. And as always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stay inspired.